Our reactions have no doubt been trailing the ruling by the Abuja Federal High Court stopping monthly financial allocations to the River State Government. A legal expert, Abraham Jigu, joins me on the news to discuss further. Thank you very much for your time, Abraham. Now, what's your take on this ruling by Justice Abdul Malik, you know, predicated on the grounds that the River State Government is in violation of the Constitution regarding the state's expenditures that Governor Fubara now presents the 2024 budget before a formal Rivers House of Assembly. Yes, uh, uh, the judgment, the judgment, thank you very much for uh, the opportunity. The judgment is, um, is in order. The Honorable Justice have not done or given any judgment that is outside the law. As you have heard from the learned, uh, my learned friend, the lawyer to the the speaker, the faction uh, factionalized speaker of uh, River State House of Assembly, Mr. Han Um What the Honorable Court has done is in line with the Constitution. But then, my take really is that the court should be aware that this matter has gone to the Supreme Court. And the Honorable Court of Appeal had ordered the River State Governor to represent the budget. So it, an, an opportunity has been given, another opportunity has been given to the Governor to do the right thing. And the matter is subjudice. The matter has been appealed by the River State Governor or River State Government. So I would have thought that the Federal High Court would have stayed their hand on the matter until the final pronouncement by the Supreme Court. But uh, if you look at it legally, the court has not done anything outside what was presented before it. The lawyers presented that look, the River State Government is in violation of the Constitution. They have not done what they are supposed to do properly before they can assess funds from the Federation. So they, they have not done anything wrong. But I would have said, feeling the heat of the of the, the society, the courts should have stayed their hand and wait for the Supreme Court to give judgment being that the, the matter before the court of appeal has been appealed, and everybody knows that this matter is in court. So I, I, I really do not fancy what the Federal High Court has done right now. Because even the Chief Justice of Nigeria, the CJN, has shown interest in this matter and has even ordered all the judges involved in the River State matter to come and appear before them and explain why we have all sorts of varied judgments, contradicting judgments flying about. I mean, we should, uh, I, I believe that when the Supreme Court will finally settle this matter. Right. So uh, my take really is that, well, the Federal Court has not done anything illegal they have not done anything in violation of the law. They have actually uphold the constitution. The governor is it yet is to, matter. you know, represent yes. the River State 2024 budget as ordered by the court. Now, going by these various court rulings, which are obviously not in favor of Fubara, eh, in Fubara's favor, is it wise for him to keep delaying on this action? No, I, I don't think it's wise, but I, I also think he should is doing the right thing by waiting for the Supreme Court to give and settle the matter. If the Supreme Court finally settles the matter, the governor of River State has no more uh, say in the matter. He has to do the right thing because there's nowhere, nowhere else to, to appeal to. So once the Supreme Court finally settles this matter, the governor of River State has no choice but to obey. So for now, you cannot blame the governor of River State if he is not taking any action because he has appealed. 
a matter that's in court, he has appealed. So he's entitled to the final judgment of the Supreme Court before he can take any further action. So if you say he should apply political solution, you, maybe you are saying he should obey the ruling of the Court of Appeal. Ordinarily, he should obey the ruling of the Court of Appeal. But because he has a right to appeal, or right of appeal, he has done that, he has exploited that right, and has appealed to the Supreme Court. So he will wait. He has the right also to wait for the Supreme Court to settle the matter before he will not take action on the matter. So we right, have to cut you short at this point. Legal practitioner Abraham Jigu, many thanks for sharing your insights.